friends, my name is Jenny Mano and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. This week I play with ink and watercolor. The ink didn't behave so the watercolor I turned to and I love how she turned out. Abstract watercolor portraits, here we go! Hi friends, welcome to this week's How To Tuesday! Um, I have an idea, it just popped into my brain this morning and I thought I would play and see what I can do. Um, I am trying to very desperately remain childlike in my work these days. Um, obviously there is childlike to me can be, well childlike to anybody can mean a, a numerous things. It could be whimsy, it could be um, like actual character, like childlike drawing. Um, it could, it, it, there's, there's a number of ways to take it, but um, for me it's to loosen up, to let whatever happened happen and not to try to control. I, I preach this a lot because it's something that I'm so, so much, I believe so much in it and I'm constantly striving for it because I always, you know, refine, 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 refine once I create a piece. So it's a struggle-ish, not as bad as it used to be. It's a struggle somewhat for me to like, just let it be, just let it be and not just keep going. I think because one, once you know, right, once you know, you kind of just know and you go forward and you just do, once you know how to do something, it's kind of almost like a responsibility, like subconsciously a responsibility for you just to keep going and adding and creating and refining and fine tuning and making it, you know, look less childlike. But, um, I've already got that down. <laughs> I've already got that down and I'm trying to... <coughs> I'm always trying to find a, a new vehicle or a new way, a new technique, a new thought, and I don't know, trying to find something to allow myself to be looser with a little control. Like I like the combination of both the, the freedom plus a little bit of control in there. I like that combo a lot, but um, I tend to just go control, control, control. I like to feed myself that way. I do a lot of, um, I'll do both. I'll do like, because I still have it in me to want to be someone who creates, you know, like I have this piece where she's refined but she's also like a, she starts out very whimsically very messy very bloppy with water all that kind of stuff but then i refine 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 and i love that i love that um so this is not going to be what we're going to do today we're going to do something different i just want to show you as an example um i'm going to play and i really have no idea how this is going to work out I hope you guys play along with me. Um, we're going to do it together because I have not done this before. Uh, it's just something I thought, why not? Let's give it a shot. So we're going to give it a shot and you're going to do it with me. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to my page if you're new. And hello. Hi again to those of you that have returned. I appreciate you more than you could possibly ever know. I hope you have a fabulous day. Um, if you like what you're seeing and you're enjoying How To Tuesdays, like and subscribe and click that bell. Click the bell so you get the personal notifications. I have something that goes up every Tuesday. Um, try, I try to I present, you know, introduce all kinds of different mediums and, and tools and whatnot and uh, techniques and stuff. So I try to keep it as interesting as possible because I don't like to get bored either. Um, so yeah, welcome. And if you have been on the fence or if you really like some, if you're someone who likes, you know, fully instructed, ad free, um, uh, real time lessons, I have the version of these videos of my how to Tuesdays, full length, real time, ad free instructed over on my Patreon channel. And I would love for you to go check it out. Okay. So let's get into the nitty gritty of what it is that we're going to use today. I just grabbed some stuff because this is where my brain was like, well, what about this? What about this? Simple. I wanted to keep it simple because it's a new technique and it's something I haven't really tried before to this extent. So, um, yeah, we're going to play that way. I have my Higgins waterproof drawing ink, black India ink, and I just have my little cup that I put it in. I also grabbed a few different watercolor brushes. I have Winsor Newton number 10 and number six. And then I just have, I wanted a small, small for some like little detail stuff. A three, it's just a three acrylic and it's not watercolor. So I'm okay using this. Um, I also grabbed my black and white generals charcoal as I usually do. And I have a couple different things. I may or may not use these. I don't know. I have a paintbrush, just a brush to brush out, to fade out the charcoal or, and or blending stump. Sometimes I even just use my finger. Sometimes I find that with, especially with pastel, a blending stump, like kind of just removes it. It leaves a little bit, but it takes away all of the pigment and I don't like that. So I don't usually use a blending stump or my finger or the, a brush or whatever, because, um, I let the pencils do the blending. I don't, I don't know. Just, it seems to obliterate it somewhat, but with the charcoal, I think we're okay. I, I can get a pretty good, you know, 
pigment and I can always go back with it to darken it up and stuff. And then I just have a mechanical pencil. This one is Papermate 0.9 and then this is a Tombow Bononaki eraser. I'm using probably on a hot press watercolor paper today, 140 pound. And uh, duh, I'm also going to, I taped it down with my Artist Pro Artist Tape. And I have this just in case, depending on how much charcoal goes down. Um, this is my Latour Sanyelier Fixative, Pastel Fixative, and it works great for charcoal as well. This is the best one I've found. I've tried a lot. This is the best one I've found. It's not 100%. I have yet to find anything that's 100%, but it's pretty dang close. A couple coats, you know, five inches away, just to spray mist across. And um, yeah, you should be good. Just let it, you know, t after it dries, just test it a little bit. And you might need a little bit more, but don't get close because it will be... It could have like to um, model the chalk or whatever, or the pasta or the charcoal. This doesn't do that though. Like hairspray, please do not use hairspray. Hairspray is bad. It doesn't work. It, it it destroys your work. So don't do it. Okay. All right. Hello, my lovelies. Before I forget and we get started, um, I want to do a shout out to my Patreons, my patrons. Not my Patreons, my patrons. Um, I have first of all, thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for joining. Thank you for coming and playing with me over on Patreon. I'm so honored. I'm so gr grateful and honored. Okay, so I have Cabby, Paula, Adelita, Stacy, Debbie, JJ, Teresa, another Paula, Karen, Crystal, Pam, Melina, Pam, Pato, AZ, Sherry, and then I think it's, I can't read that. I can't read my own writing. Sanella. I think it's Sanilra. Sanilla. I'll spell it correctly once I look it up again. But thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm sorry if I apologize if I butchered your name. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you. All right, let's get started. 